Okay, so um, the kidney dissection is tomorrow. Um, this is just a screen capture view that I got from the Visible Body, visible, um, visiblebody.com, and um, showing your uh, kidney on the inside, very similar to what you colored today. The blood vessels are a little more accurate. And also on the outside, um, with adrenal glands up top, now, um, the adrenal glands will not be in your dissection because there actually is a capsule, um, a membrane around the kidney. Remember that we have the uh, cortex, the area around the cortex, around, and the medulla is this region on the inside. Same thing with the adrenal glands. You have the adrenal cortex which is around when, uh, if we could dissect adrenal glands, there's a definite difference, and the adrenal medulla, which is on the inside. So medullas are on the inside, the cortex is on the outside. Same with the kidney. These two large blood vessels, this is the vena cava and this is the aorta. They're both caudal, so this, or under the heart. So this would be the caudal vena cava uh, and this is the caudal aorta or it's caudally to the heart and it branches to the renal vein uh, and this is the renal artery so the blood's going to enter the kidney I guess I might want to erase that so you don't get confused um, it's going to enter the kidney and we're going to talk about how it gets filtrated. you're going to see this parallel venation in here when uh, you dissect the kidney It'll be filtered through the nephrons, those thin tubules that I told you about, and then it will return up um, out of the kidneys through the renal vein. Now, what I did want to show you is, uh, here we go. This is the uh, dissection that I used previously. Um, you, we will have the ureter and blood vessels. I did get a, this is black and white, but I did get yours injected. So we'll, first thing you want to do is pick through uh, the tissue on the outside so you can kind of figure out where the vessels are. Remember the arteries will be much thicker. So just looking at this right here, I can tell that this is an artery because of the thickness of the walls. They're under pressure. And then you will be removing um, that uh, capsule, which is a membrane around your kidney. Uh, very similar to, um, uh, it's made out of connective tissue. Um, this has not been cooked, so it is uh, similar to almost removing skin, an epithelial tissue. And from there, basically, we're going to cut it in half. I will be bringing in some larger knives. I don't recommend cutting it into your palm like this. Uh, you can set it down in the dissecting tray. But we are going to uh, cut it in half as, as best we can with the knives. I'll hopefully sharpen some of them tonight. And then this is an actually good picture because you can see the shading of uh, this would be the cortex and then you'll actually see a color difference in the medulla region now yours are injected so it'll be even sharper all the blood flow and as you look even closer uh, maybe here you can see it see these straight lines going down like that these are the nephrons or the tubules that drain into the pelvis now there's going to be many sinus regions um, that uh, drain into the renal pelvis, not a bone pelvis, but a renal pelvis. Oh, much better, these columns. These are the nephron tubules uh, that we will be uh, studying about at the end of the dissection. Uh, form fits function kind of thing. So there are just millions of tubules. All the blood will be pushed out. Uh, so the arteries and veins, blood will be pushed out. Your glomerus up here, it'll go through the tubules uh, which are all lined up here and whatever is eventually discarded as urine will travel through the pelvis and out the ureter. So um, I wanted to show you these pictures just because this is my traditional um, lab that uh, we use. But I went away from it this year just because, and I went to the, the, um, the one we're using because we got the double injected in the past. I, ne I never got the arteries and veins injected. So that will be interesting to see uh, and uh, yeah that's about it uh, don't forget to learn your structures so we can get there um, and then this all extends remember 
that each ureter continues down to the bladder. So down here is your bladder. And then the bladder continues to the urethra. So these are ureters. Ureters are the tubes between the kidneys and the bladder. Uh, the bladder stores the urine, holds the urine. Now it does use a whole bunch of energy to keep it warm. So um, remember to pee if you're camping before going to bed. And then the ureter, of course, will be of different lengths uh, depending on the sex. Now there are sphincters, uh, circular muscles here. There are um, ureter sphincters that help control um, how much urine goes between the kidney through the ureters to the bladder and vice versa. This is a smooth muscle, so when it contracts, if there's anything wrong with these sphincters holding it closed, and you contract that, um, you know, so if, if the bladder contracts, it's going to squeeze the liquid, and the liquid could shoot up the ureters, um, just as if there's something wrong with those sphincters. And that can happen with sexually transmitted diseases, and that's why you're not going to do anything like that. Um, okay, well, see you in the morning, and um, you'll wear your gloves. It's not real dangerous. It won't take super long. As much as you can learn tonight, the better.